Hi guys, Google Voice and Ring Central are two of the best voice over internet protocol solutions, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between Ring Central and Google Voice and will consider five criteria to see how these two tools suck up. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. The two apps have similar features as their cover, but Ring Central is by far the more advanced tool of the two. So, for the features, Ring Central has a host of useful features such as local numbers, toll free, and vanity numbers, call delegation, call screening, call forwarding, visual emails, and much more. On the other hand, Google Voice offers the very basics, and their features don't go much farther than call forwarding. Google Voice leaves much to be desired in a lot of areas. For example, the interface doesn't offer any extensions. This can be an issue for small business owners, as extensions conveniently connect scholars to different departments and personal. Ring Central comes out on top when it comes to features. Things like extension availability and visual voicemail perks really set it up apart from Google Voice. With Google Voice, you can configure your call handling to rank team members simultaneously, at random or in a fixed order until someone answers. Keep in mind though that Google Voice makes it much harder to collaborate with other team members to meet a client's needs. Rank Central includes shared numbers on its base plan, but it's only available for up to 20 users. The 20 user limit also applies to team messaging and file sharing, which helps you and your team stay on the same page about your work and customers. Although you get unlimited calls and texts to the US and Canada, you won't be able to send MMS messages to Canadian phone numbers with Ring Central. Each user on their base plan only includes up to 25 texts per month to US numbers before paying extra fees. If you want features like call recording or an auto attendant, you will have to upgrade to one of Ring Central's premium plans. These pricier options also include advanced expensive features for audio and video conferencing, among other things. More likely than not, you will end up paying extra for features you don't really need or use. And by the way guys, we have put together comprehensive videos about Google Voice and Rank Central alternatives. Feel free to check them out, link in the description. And for the integrations, Google Voice only integrates with other Google platforms like Google Workspace, which is required for the purchase of a Google Voice plan. Google Workspace includes platforms such as Gmail, Google Drive, Chat Team Messaging, and Google Meet. Ring Central, on the other hand, offers integration options once you are on the standard plan or higher. Ring Central integrates with over 200 third party apps. On the standard plan, you can integrate your business phone system with Microsoft 365, Slack, and even Google Workspace. When you upgrade to the premium plan, you can access CRM integrations like Zendesk and Salesforce as well as integrations for industry-specific tools like Canvas or Smarsh. So Ring Central is the clear winner here. And for the video conferencing, where the two platforms begin to differ is with video conferencing. Google Voice is only starting to rule out one-on-one -on -one video calls, but recently doesn't have video conferencing tied to the VoIP platform. While bots claim to have a 99% uptime guarantee, Google Voice is a bit convoluted in how it's defined that. It only pays if there are 45 minutes of downtime in a month, but it doesn't count out just for less than 10 minutes. This can be confusing and frustrating if you are having regular outages. And for the ease of use and setup, the Rank Central app is easier to set up and it doesn't take too much time to get started. When it comes to use, the problem is that Rank Central is packed with features that novice users may not need at all and it can take a little bit to get used to the layout and interface and find where everything is. However, it's fairly easy for most users and even non tech savvy folks can manage their way without reaching for support. Google Voice is very easy to use, especially if you are accustomed to using Hangouts and you are a fan of the Google Suite package. Even if you are completely new to Google's products, you will have no issues getting up to speed quickly. And for the pricing, whereas Ring Central is the luxury of VoIP services, with a ton of extras such as more than 200 integrations, Google Voice gets the job done effectively. 
but doesn't have all the extras that some business owners would expect with a VoIP provider. As a such, the pricing of both systems is quite different. Ring Central offers a free 15 day trial, while Google Voice has one line for free that users can try. However, business plans on Google Voice don't come with a free trial. Ring Central starts with the Essentials plan at $33 and goes as high as $62 per user per month if you pay on a monthly basis. Google Voice has individual plans for free and business plans starting as $10 per user per month, going as high as $30 per user per month. While it certainly lacks some business-oriented features, Google Voice simply can't be based regarding affordability. And for the analytics and reporting, Google Voice analytics are limited and only available for premium plan users and Google Workspace Enterprise, Education Standard and Education Plus users. For these customers, Google Voice integrates with Google BigQuery, a cloud-based analytics tool that runs queries on historical data and generates reports. Using BigQuery, users can analyze team members' activity across all Google Workspace platforms and combine activity reports. BigQuery will also generate custom reports and dashboards, aggregate usage data across apps and perform advanced searches on activity. Google Voice does not offer real-time analytics. Google Voice users with non-premium plans can access voice logs and other activity logs across Google Workspace and conduct searches with multiple filters. Ring Central includes real-time analytics in its Premier and Ultimate plans. Ultimate plan users also have access to device status reports and alerts. Call log reports, including days, time, and duration of calls, are included in all Ring Central plans. Ring Central's real-time analytics enables users to generate customized dashboards and reports with over 30 metrics to choose from including talk time, after hours time, and call volume. Multiple analytics dashboards can be created, shared, and collaborated on. Aggregated data is available for 24 hours. So with real-time analytics, custom dashboards, and alerts, Ring Central is the winner here. So choosing between Google Voice and Ring Central depends on your business and your needs. Google Voice and Ring Central are both extremely reliable unified communications platforms, but they serve different purposes. My recommendation for small teams and business owners that are already comfortable using Google Apps such as Sheets and Drive, Google Voice is a low-cost solution that can take communications to the next level. Remote and international teams especially will benefit greatly from tools such as Google Meet. For large businesses, enterprises, and call centers that need analytics, advanced call handling options, and a CRM integration, Ring Central is an excellent choice. Although Ring Central comes with a higher price tag, it has consistently proven itself to be a leader in the UC space thanks to its highly secure, user-friendly, and reliable platform packed with innovative features. However, if you still want to investigate other platforms, make sure you check out our videos about the best alternatives, link in the description. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out, if it did, leave a comment, click the like button, that helps too, and bye bye.